Hi there, I'm Melissa Khan with S3 Canada. Are you managing some public surveys or do you have the plan to make some? Public surveys are ideal for government organizations to collect data from the public. With this video, I'm going to give you six tips about public surveys built by ActuS Survey 123 using an ActuS online account. And I will be using the Survey 123 web designer for my demo. My first tip for you is to use templates to create a new survey. Here is the Survey123 website, and I will click this button to create a new survey. And I'm given three options, and I will get started with template survey. Actual Survey123 Web Designer offers abundant templates covering various industries. These templates are ready to use and can also be easily modified to meet the purpose of your data collection. Here, I will choose a template called Report Portal. This is a survey I modified based on the template. And after finishing the survey design, I will go to the Collaborate tab. Here, I will define the sharing level of the survey and its results. On the Share Survey, I would choose everyone because this survey will be shared with the public. And I will only allow submitters to add new records. On the Share Results, I will share the survey results to members of my organization. And then I will save this survey. I will go back to Access Online. Here I can see a folder already created, and it has the same name as the survey. And there are four items within it. The first is a form, which is a survey form, and it's shared with the public. And the second is a hosted feature layer. This feature layer contains all the data submitted with the survey. And there's also a field worker view layer of the hosted feature layer. It is used to manage permissions for submissions to survey as a non-owner. And the pencil icon here indicates public data collection. This view layer is also shared with the public. There's also a stakeholder view of the hosted feature layer. It is used to manage permission for viewing the survey results as non-owner. And this view layer is shared with my organization. And my second tip for you is to limit submitters' access to public surveys. Now we return to the Survey123 website. Under Share Survey and What Can Submitters Do, if I choose the second or the third option, I will be given some warning messages that the survey results can be exposed to the public. If I choose the first option, which is allow submitters to only add new records, it's the safest way to avoid exposing survey records to the public. By doing this, the field worker feature layer view won't show any records when accessed by viewers other than the survey owner in Access Online. And you can click this link for more details. Users who are familiar with Actress Online always find it convenient and flexible to modify items under the Settings tab. And my third tip is to modify the settings of the hosted feature layer and its field worker and stakeholder views under the Collaborate tab on the Survey123 website. Doing this will safeguard the functionalities of the survey and ensure it will not be broken. Changes in the Survey123 website will be reflected on the Settings tab of the related items in Access Online simultaneously. And my fourth tip for you is do not share the hosted feature layer of the survey to the public or even enable public data collection. This feature layer contains all the information from submitted survey records, and you don't want it to be viewed or modified accidentally by others. 
The best practice is to keep these feature layers sharing level as private to yourself. And here's the question. How to share survey results in maps or apps safely with the public? And my fifth tip is to use hosted layer view for data visualization. I've seen people hide information not in a proper way. For example, they hide attribute table fields in web map pop-ups or in the attribute table widget of web app builder. However, if viewers can find the source feature layer used by the apps or apps in Access Online, the hidden fields are still accessible to them. And the safest way to use survey results in web maps or apps shared with the public is to use a hosted feature layer view. And it's not recommended to modify the field worker or stakeholder views to avoid breaking the survey functionality. And I will demonstrate how to create a new view layer. So here I go back to ArcGIS Online and opened the reporter portal hosted feature layer. There's a button to create view layer and I will click on it. And in the first step, I will choose a layer and click next. Here I can see all the fields in the hosted feature layer. And I will simply delete the fields I don't want others to see. For example, creator, editor, name, and phone number. Basically, it's any fields you think should be hidden for the public. I will click Next. And here I can give the view layer title and create the view. My last tip for you is to use your own web maps in the survey's map question. With the update of survey 123 in February 2022, you can now use your own web maps when building the survey map questions. So here I created a web map containing the hosted feature layer view I just created. Now we'll go back to survey 123 website. Here, I will modify the map question. I will edit the map. I will choose a map from my content. And I will choose existing portal map. And click OK. And now you can see the map changes and it shows some records already submitted. And I will republish this survey. And now I open the survey and you can see it shows the map we just updated and I'm going to submit a new record. Here I will just choose a point in downtown Ottawa and submit it. And now when I open the survey again, and you can see that the points we just submitted is updated in the map. Using a customized map containing the survey result, it's very helpful to guide the submitters. Now anyone opens the survey will be able to see points already collected, and the map can be used to prevent submitters from adding records to duplicate locations. I hope some of the six tips are useful for your projects. With above tips in mind, you may wish to revisit surveys that have been published, or you probably have ideas to create some new public surveys. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and feel free to leave any comments or suggestions below. Lastly, if you would like to see more Esri Canada demos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel using the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.